Okay, well, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of moving parts. And uh, I, uh, I thank all of you out there that have helped us sort of shape some of those parts. I'm going to talk about uh, what we're calling the uh, uh, um, open market strategy. We're, we're sort of working that in three phases. Uh, phase one is where we're taking our current computing assets and um, uh, building off of the good work that Richard had done to do a lot of consolidation um, and, uh, and focusing on where it makes sense to continue to consolidate, uh, sort of uh, hold in place where, where uh, maybe there's some other opportunities, restructuring those contracts so that we have more of a direct channel between the, um, the engineering entities within the components directly to the vendor. And I think that's very powerful because, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of work that's being done in real time. Sure. And we want to make sure that there's a direct relationship there mm -hmm. and that, you know, really working off of the, uh, the consumption-based model that was put in place and continuing to expand that on our private sort of uh, computing service offerings, if you will, and that's a variety of services. The second piece is expanding that capability. This is sort of the open market piece of this into the, uh, the private sector cloud uh, services, the FedRAMP cloud sure. services. There's a lot of work going on there right now in regards to piloting a variety of services uh, and putting together contracts to structure that once again so that the operating components can, can buy those computing services mm -hmm. directly from those uh, cloud service providers, whether it's an uh, infrastructure as a service all the way up to a, a software as a service type of capability. Right, we're talking about so, that on a lot of our shows, you know, yeah. how the, the hybrid clouds, public clouds, private clouds, yeah. how it impacts data center consolidation, data center plans, future plans there, all those, again, as you as you phrase them, moving parts. And there, there's a, a blend there, and so there's a lot of work that's going on in the architecture area, as you can imagine a lot of work going on in the security area where we're putting a defense in depth capability in place to make sure that all those uh, assets are secured, whether they're running in a cloud environment, public cloud environment, private cloud environment. And in most cases, as most CIOs know, there's a blend. It's always a blend. It's typically not one service running in one place and it's not touching anything else. There's always a blend there. The third one, which is really you know why we're doing this, is to to build applications on top of that, right? And this is where we're really looking at the uh, leveraging the digital service plays, where we're looking sure. at you know the open market and the open uh, 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 type of uh, technologies that are out there, open source technologies, looking at these modern technology stacks, using agile and continuous development, these new development mm -hmm. techniques. Uh, several other components have already started to do that. Charlie in the back there has been doing that with ACE for some time, having some great success with CIS as well. We've picked four projects that are in various stages. Some are that are in the uh, in sort of uh, stage zero, uh, which is one of the ones that we're working with FEMA on, all the way up to some that are, I wouldn't call it a rescue, but it's a restructuring right. of the way they're doing it today right. and sort of restructuring that into a sort of a traditional uh, development model into a, a new model. We've gotten some good uh, feedback early from what uh, Charlie did with ACE and what uh, CIS did with Excellent. transformation and using that open source uh, plethora of um, capabilities mm -hmm. to allow these folks to get access to that very quickly and build using those new right. modern techniques. There's